Hi, girl. It's Mardi Gras. We're having some drinks. I look extreme. It's boobies tonight. We're just going for the really booby. Yeah. Glasses pants. We love glasses. We love glasses. Titties are out. They actually are really cute. This is so cute. Have a fun night, Sunny. <laughs> Wait, head to toe. Yeah. Arriba. Yum, yum, yum. Woohoo. Yum, yum, yum. It's <laughs> stunning. Oh, I haven't even showed you guys my Airbnb, but this is the outdoors. Hello. We are just about to go to a friend's house for a party. And then just having a great Mardi Gras. Looking very intense. We love it. weekend for Cardi. Party Cardi is naughty and has not been getting enough sleep and I'm so exhausted right now. Um, Mum just got here this morning. She is just here for a few days. I booked her a like kind of like it's like an energy healing massage at this place in Paddington. So she finally came down to redeem it now that the borders and stuff are open and it's been so nice having her here. Getting ready, I have a high tea, very random. I have never been to a high tea. Going with Sammy, really nice. I wish I had some more energy and didn't feel so shit. But that is my own fault. That is my own fault. So I will troop her on. Um, I just check the time and I literally have like no time to get ready what's news. So yeah, I'm just Chucking on some makeup. I'm just gonna do like something like, super cash. Just a classic look. It's a white um, dress code. So I've got a really nice white dress that I literally just got in the mail from Reformation. Um, so that was perfect timing. And yeah, that is the plan. I will just turn this off because I have no energy and I like can't focus. And I'll talk to you guys once I'm there. Oh my god, I need to sleep. <laughs> We've both never done a high tea before. No, never. And look at this. Look at the flower arrangement. Truly. I wonder if at the end they'll say you guys can all take one bunch home. Oh my god, could you imagine? I would love that. How beautiful roses they are. Stunning. Hi, Jazzy Jazz. Jazzy Juju Moo Moo Poo Poo Lulu Susan. <laughs> She I've doesn't. Made it. Yes, you've made it. <laughs> Onto the list. I love that there's a heart player. It's actually really calming me I down. Know, it's really calming. It's soothing me. And we have these yummy. Are we allowed to start eating our cake yet? Voila. 
How cute is that? Um, and to, I love to introduce you to our general manager and our VP, Mr. Wowie. Wow, 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 wow. Okie dokie. We are now off for dinner, even though I am literally still so full. Yeah, for dinner with us. It's International Women's Day today as well. Happy Women's Day, everybody. Well, we're having dinner with the girls. This is the fit. I just got these shoes in the mail from LMS. They're very cute. My pants, lessons, top is from Revolve. Just comfy and cute. And I'll wear my Gucci bag. Kaimel's looking stun, as always. We are just going to this place called Society Pizza. I've never tried it. I've literally just eaten cakes and gluten, and now I'm about to go and eat more carby food. So I'm going to be feeling all sorts of, ouch, later. But that's, Kaimel's in town, so we must celebrate this momentous occasion. Truly. All right. I'm gonna walk over there, so I'll talk to you guys later. Yum, 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 yum. Hi, Smooch. Hi, Smoothie. I love that I say Smooch and you reply Smoothie. I literally have Smoothie Hey guys, I just opened up a big package of some goodies from Glassons. Well, not just then, but yesterday. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some of the pieces. Um, by the way, excuse my makeshift setup. The Airbnb didn't have a full length mirror, so I, I went to Target and I bought this one. I wanted to get a full length one, but it was so heavy. I literally couldn't carry it and it wouldn't fit my car. So this is what we're working with. Judge me, if you know, you know. It's very hard to exist without a full length mirror because, you know, how do you look at your fits? I literally was like standing on a chair here and looking in the mirror there. And it was just a hazard to my safety, to be honest. Anyways, starting off, super cute little green croppy toppy. We love her. Glasses does the best. Crop tops, all different colors, so comfy. And these amazing jeans. You guys would have seen the jeans I was wearing last night that were like the checkered ones. I would put them back on and show you again, but they are in the wash. So these are the same. Um, and this, they're just like a really cute, very like light wash little tie dye situation. Sorry, you can't see the full thing. Glasson's denim is my absolute favorite. So I just thought I'd mention as well the clothes that I'm showing you. They are all glass and sustainable pieces. They're amazing. And what I love the most, I mean, I know I yap on about glass and so much, you guys, but I'm like literally obsessed with all their stuff. But any any sustainable pieces I've bought in the past, they can be quite pricey and expensive. Um, and I think the most amazing thing about sustainable pieces is that they're so affordable. So it makes, you know, being sustainable much easier when you can... You know, not not um to spend an arm and a leg for it so this is the first fit cute okay this came at the most perfect time it's starting to actually get a bit chilly in sydney already and like obviously summer is over now so we have this very very cute cord buffer kind of jacket i love i love everything cord i'm cord obsessed and i love that it's kind of coming back in at the moment so this is cute because you can either you can eat the turtleneck it when it's like really cold and do it up or you can put it down and then just wear it like this it's so warm and comfy and the color is perfect it's like a really good little like nice neutral beige color so it pretty much goes with everything and it's super just cozy and warm and i think they have some other really good colors in this jacket too that i liked can we just excuse the fact that outfit does not go together i just wanted to show you this cute little cardigan it is adorable i love the colors so so much of it i would definitely put this with like a nice um neutral top like a white top or something or like a little white dress it's so comfy and warm i love cardigans it's easy to chuck on you know it's just nice to have some color in your wardrobe and it's just so cozy cozy and cute and easy to pop on hello easy drive you want to try oh would you, would you like to show them you can just hold them up they've seen them on these are my absolute favorites i will be living in them just like these jeans very comfy Oh, thank you. Give a back shot. We love them. <laughs> J'adore. Thank you, darling, for that show and tell. Yes. Bada bing, bada boom, on to the next. Okay, next we just have someone, and I like the I like this scoop kind of detailing it's got on here, but I am super into browns. 
at the moment. Super comfy fabric, just would be easy to go with absolutely anything. Okay, this one is 100% my favorite along with those jeans. Um, look at this blue color. Again, it's called Obsessed. I just love this. I love a big throw over kind of jacket. It's nice and cozy and warm, but still like you can just, if it gets warm, you can chuck it off and like tie it around your waist. It can look really cute. And I just am obsessed with the color of it. It's so nice. And I feel like it just can just kind of spice up an outfit a bit. Like this is kind of random, but this all weirdly kind of goes ish. Maybe, maybe not the brown top with it, but definitely with the jeans. Looks very cute. Excuse how um, crinkled it is, but this adorable white dress just feels so cutesy and girly in this. I don't normally wear many just little white dresses ever, but I also don't normally wear many tops like this style because I find it hard to support my boobs. But they're really good because it has like underwire here, so I feel very supported. And there's adjustable straps on the back as well, but so cute with the little bag and some jewels and some cute little heels or boots or docks with a leather jacket, just really grunge it up. I love this because you can do it really girly or you could do it more grungy. I'd probably grunge it up with some docks and stuff, but yes. They are all my pieces from Glassons. I hope you guys enjoyed my little mini my mini haul. I um, have to go and just chuck on some very presentable, please give me an apartment outfit because I have some house inspections to go to now, so. Oh my God, you scared me. Oh my God, you literally, <laughs> you just standing there. I, I didn't even hear you come up the stairs. Okay. I just had the first inspection. It was really good. I'm at my second one now. I don't want a public vlog because there's people walking past me. <laughs> this is a great angle. Inspections are so awkward. Just like some people just, you're all just there walking around. I feel like I go into like freak out mode. I don't even look at the apartment properly. And it's going to the next one. Bye. Fingers crossed. This is number 44. This apartment number is number 44. So I would love to live in 44. It would just all make sense. Good morning. <laughs> Frantic. Don't mind my beautiful soothing jazz in the background. And wow, I look. Just a bit crazy. I've just put my sunscreen and oils all over my face. And my hair is so oily and gross. I've just had to like do the same look as yesterday and pin it back. And I'm trying to be better at not washing it as much because my hair is literally falling out. Like I, what's this? It's a bit distracting. I've struggled with having hair loss problems for quite a while now. Like my hair has grown lots, but I also like so much of it falls out. Like every time I wash my hair, it just, it's really extreme. So if anyone has any tips for that, like I don't know if it's just from my adrenals, like because I have adrenal fatigue really badly, um, or just my body being in like new environment, it's getting worse. But I mean, it even happened at home. Like, I don't know if it's necessarily stress because like I get, like I am more, like I'm busy here and I'm running around a bit more, but I don't, like I feel quite happy. Does happiness counteract stress? You can still be stressed and quite happy, I guess. I don't know. So, yes. But I just went for a quick walk and had a coffee with my friend Ginny from Melbourne. And now I literally have like 20 minutes to eat something, put some makeup on, and then it's literally back-to-back -back house inspections today. Um, ones yesterday were not that great. Oh my God, can you... Do you have to be doing that right now? Yeah, the ones the ones yesterday, the number 44 one that I was like, I would love to live in 44 because like that's my number. It was like, I got catfish. It was not good at all. Um, so yeah, let's see how these ones go today. I'm sure there'll be plenty more on during the week. I'm gonna check if there's any new ones that have been listed as well right now. I'm gonna get some uh, work sent off. <sighs> And yeah, I feel like this is my life in Sydney. It's just always go, go, go. But it'll be so, so nice once I find something and I can just get settled. Um, I don't even think, have I even explained to you guys what I'm doing? So I, I don't know if I have, but I was obviously, I had only planned on coming here for a month. Like I just wanted to stay in Airbnbs for like a month, have some time here, just get that city feeling again. And then I was gonna go home and kind of decide what to do with my life. But I drove my car down here and now I'm like, I don't wanna go back. I wanna move back here. There's no point in me driving my car 
back to Queensland. I just have to go back on the 23rd because I've got some appointments and some like family stuff. So I have to just go back for three days anyways. And I was just gonna drive my car home and like move back home and I guess. But now I'm like, I'm gonna leave my car here, leave it at one of my friend's houses and then just fly home. I need to book flights today as well. And then yeah, hopefully I have a house to come back to. I don't wanna keep renting Airbnbs because like you get like, settled in here and then now like today i have to pack up everything and move to my next airbnb um and i'm so sad to leave this one because i just love it i'll have to give you guys a little airbnb tour as well before i go but anyways i need to i'm gonna watch this back and be like cardio you look half asleep so i'm gonna go make some brekkie get some emails sent off and then race to First inspection of the day. Back to the jazz. I have an absolute obsession. I look up when I would look up like coffee shop, New York, rainy day, winter. There's like snow falling outside. There's rain on the windows. There's like coffee cups and stuff. It just soothes me. It is an addiction. Some nights I'll be in Tokyo on a skyline watching this and just everywhere I go to all the different places it's quite nice I highly recommend this morning I've just gone for cozy winter cafe no rain today just the snow falling outside we love it I'm literally hacking myself laughing so I just quickly zoomed to the first inspection and I like was walking around and there's this guy in rollerblades he literally like rollerbladed into the building went up the lift in a roll in rollerblades and then looked around the apartment in rollerblades and got back in the lift with me in his rollerblades and then zoomed off i was like my man i respect the hustle like he's obviously just rollerblading around to um to his inspections but i don't get how he's doing it because it's like so hilly like there's hills everywhere i'm like how do you get up a hill in your rollerblades like don't you just go flying down oh, i can't that was Truly, it made me giggle. It made up for the fact that that apartment was no good, no bueno, sadly. I hate that I'm so picky and I just can't afford to be picky right now. Not in Sydney, there were so many people on the list that was were inspecting that property too. I'm just going to go sit in a cafe now, get my laptop out and look if there's any new listings and do some emails while I wait. It actually wasn't until my boss um, coming out of, so I went, So would I show you guys my apartment that I'm in right now because I'm obsessed with it. My little abode, she's small but so perfect for like just me. So the steps are upstairs. I don't know why the lighting looks so funny right now but. It's the front door as you come in. This is the bathroom. She's beautiful, I love the tiles. Hi. And then you come down along here and there's like a little Little like desk space, there's a little mini balcony here. It's very, very cute. Favorite thing is the freaking blackout blinds. Like I have been sleeping so well. And then you turn and this is the bedroom. It's very cute. It's really like cozy. Like it is quite small and cozy, but it feels like a hotel room. Like heaps of storage here. And my favorite part is that there's like a TV right in front of the bed. So it's just really, amazing to watch Netflix and chill and it's so cozy you just like shut that door at night and you're like all trapped in and it's so nice with the aircon on when you come upstairs little balcony here excuse the ugly box it's from my mirror I need to like keep that so I can take it to the next place this is upstairs it's so adorable and such a perfect size like if i could rent this apartment out if it wasn't just on airbnb i would do it in a heartbeat and then yeah this is the kitchen and then my favorite part you come out here and there is just an entire little balcony space it's very overcast today but Oh, we love her and I'm so sad to be leaving. Okay, I'm just getting the kitchen and everything packed up. Um, I honestly had so much stuff all across this apartment from being here for two weeks. And I'm waking up really early tomorrow to go to Pilates, so I kind of need to do it all tonight so that I'm not stressed in the morning. And I have two suitcases, two big boxes to carry down, all the food, and now 
and mirror. So I'm just being productive and getting onto it now because I know tomorrow morning I'm going to be racing around after parties. We've got parties at 8.30. I wish I could go to an earlier one. Um, but yeah, parties at 8.30 and then checkout is at 10, which is so annoying. I just need like 30 more minutes or something, but we're getting it sorted. I can do this. I'm capable. So that sauna and oh my god, my skin is just doing not so well um that sauna and light facial thing was amazing good morning mm. i got up bright and early this morning to get the rest of my stuff packed up it's a very very gloomy morning outside um i just have to i book pilates for 8 30 i'm really keen um even though i feel so exhausted are we good it's like the best Pilates ever. It's just like they blast music and it's actually really fun and it goes by really quick. It's really, really good workout. So I'm gonna go to Pilates, come back, and I'll have to like just grab, like get changed quickly and grab my bag. And then I'm gonna race to Bondi Junction to get some film developed from the weekend and run some errands. And then I think I'm just gonna go to Sammy's house. She's, out, she's gonna be out on a shoot today, but I might just go wait at her house until I can check in my next airbnb at three o'clock it's so annoying that that happens like i better check out of here at 10 and get into there by three so i've got a bit of time to kill so i'm just going to do some work today edit this vlog i have lots of admin work that i need to get back to so i really need to fake tan tonight i'm looking very pale oh my god i'm so sad i'm saying goodbye to my airbnb it was literally the best I've packed up all my stuff. Half of it's already in the car. I'm gonna get some breakfast and then do some work. It's now taken over S Samantha Robinson's business, One Mile. I am in the office. It's now my office. I'm the boss now. I'm printing things. I've even taken a drink out of the fridge. Just living my best life, doing some work. It's very hard running a clothing company. I'm very busy and stressed. That's all I have to say. Okay, no, but in all seriousness, um, Sammy is out on a shoot right now. And um, yes, I am holding down the fort at the One Mile office today. I cannot check into my next Airbnb until like two hours or so. But I've just printed off a rental application. Guys, we went and looked at one yesterday afternoon. It was literally perfect, like perfect location, perfect department, just amazing. So we are getting right onto our applications. I've just printed mine out and I'm gonna fill it in right now and just getting all my supporting documents for it and stuff. God, rental stuff is just so annoying and time consuming. That's all I've been doing. Like I have had so much other work to do and it's like constant and like going to inspections and then applying and all of that. It just takes so, so, so long, but it'll be great once I get something locked in. So yeah, that's what I'm doing. Super handy that Sam had a printer. I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Where do I go? Like a library? I'm not even sure. But we are smashing through this. I'm so excited to get into my next Airbnb and I've got that for the next two weeks. Like I rented this first one for two weeks and then I've got this one for two weeks. I wanted to stay in that other one for a month but I had planned to stay at a friend's house but some things happened and some plans changed which was totally okay. We're just dealing with this now but earlier this morning I felt really, really whacked out and like very ungrounded having to leave there because I'd like just kind of gotten settled and I was like, oh my God, I hate not being settled somewhere. Like, especially because now I'm like, I'm just going to live in Sydney. Um, I'm very yeah, keen to get my own house and just get it all set up and make it feel like home. But it's also kind of fun, I guess, just like bouncing around a little bit. I did say I wanted this, so careful what you wish for, cutty girl. I'm going to stop talking and get onto this. I'm just in my new Airbnb. I made a protein smoothie for dinner and a tea because I'm just like not that hungry and I was craving this. I'm watching a whisker away this anime film. It's quite weird but I love it. And yeah, this is my cute night. I'm gonna show you guys the apartment in the morning. I'm so tired. Um I'm just gonna eat this, watch the movie and have a really early night. <laughs> 
cradling a bottle of tequila and soda. We've just been <laughs> at lunch for Nick's birthday and I just got an email. Just said in the bathroom, just got approved for our apartment. It's literally like our fucking dream apartment and we just got approved. And I'm so excited. I could literally cry. I'll talk to you guys once I put this alcohol down. We just got to Sammy's house. We've been drinking all day. Literally can't believe it. Oh my god, I was so bad. I did not vlog anything on the weekend. I think I have like some random stories that I put in. Um, we had Nick, Sammy's boyfriend's birthday on the weekend, which was so fun. We just went out for lunch and then they had a little house party. Um, it was just such a good time. But then Sunday, it was literally raining and storming here all day. So it was just a movie at home hangover day which was kind of nice because I was so tired. Um, but today it's so beautiful and sunny outside right now. If you can see, I don't know if the color's coming up, but it's not even a cloud in the sky, but it's quite chilly here this morning, which I'm not happy about. Oh, my camera's flashing and then it's about to die. I have just quickly gotten dressed. I'm about to go for lunch with my friend, starving. I'm gonna give you guys a quick apartment tour before this dies. So this is the front door. There is mirrors in this apartment. We love that compared to the other one. You walk in, it's a mess. Just excuse that. Bathroom, oh my God, it's so messy. I can't walk in. It's really small, but like perfect for me right now. Get mirrors, this is my outfit that I'm wearing, by the way. Just very brown. Um, I haven't unpacked my suitcases yet, but this is the bedroom. I have stuff everywhere. And then this is the living room. Like got the kitchen. Little table, TV, lounge area, and a really beautiful little balcony space. But it's just, it's super nice and bright in here. And like, just, I loved the other one. This one's really good though, because it's just one level. It's convenient, nice kitchen. My like channel's just gonna turn into like Airbnb reviews. Oh my God, and I also have really exciting news to tell you guys, but this is about to die and I'm running late. So I'm gonna tell you guys when I get home, but it's, it's a good day. It's a good day. Um, but I'm gonna go for lunch and then I'll talk to you when I'm home. A little Monday morning Bellini. Oh, not morning. Lunch. lunch. We're not alcoholic. Yeah. Cheers, Cheers, boo. Dear Alicia. Hi. Camera is dead, so I'm on photo booth. I'm just finishing off this video and I realized that I forgot to even tell you guys about the apartment. I mean, up until today, I didn't realize that I filmed that really drunk video of myself being like, we just got approved and like realized I just have left out so much information to you guys. Like, I don't even think I explained when we went and looked at the one that was really good that we loved, but pretty much one of my friends that I'm moving in with, we went and looked at this apartment and we were like, oh my fucking God, this is perfect. And we have to get this. Like, there's just nothing else better. And so we like called the agent heaps being like, what do we have to do to get this? Put in our applications. And I genuinely just did not think we were gonna get it because everything's so competitive. Like all the other inspections I was going to, there's like 20 or so people there, like there's lots of people and it's so competitive. And I was like, this one's like kind of iconic. Like I don't know how we're supposed to get this. And we got it because I was just manifesting my ass off. Like every time I would talk about it, I was like, when I move in to my new place, which is on this street. And I always feel like that's how manifestation works best. It's obviously like thinking a thing and like wanting a thing, but it always works best when I'm like vocally saying it out loud and like acting as if I already possess the thing that I want. I love this. I'm so happy because I was starting to really stress because you know, I'm obviously renting Airbnbs right now and as much as they're lovely, they're so expensive and moving around every few weeks is just so ungrounding for me and like not being able to like set up my own space properly. So I was like, you know, if I can't, cause I've only got this place booked until next Tuesday. And I was like, I don't want to keep renting something, but I also 
don't like I don't want to go home I don't know so I was just in like a confusing point with it because I was like if I don't find something in the next few weeks like I can't keep renting apartments just to keep going looking house hunting so I was like I'm just gonna have to move home but this has all happened for a reason like I feel like this whole entire move to Sydney was everything's just happened in such divine timing and everything's been so amazing and I just feel so happy and grateful and in like such a good place with myself at the moment which I know you guys can always tell when I'm there because like you're all fucking replying to my stuff like boo boo's happy like it is it's true I just feel good because I feel like everything's in alignment and I've just tried to trust and listen to what the universe is saying and where to go and what to do and like trusting myself and um yeah I feel like as well coming back to Sydney this time around like it's shown me how much I've grown since the last time I lived here how powerful it was for me to leave when everything was just so bad and like if you guys have been following me for a while you remember like when I left when I left Sydney my mental health was at like it's all time worse it was so sad I was in such a bad like dark place and I really needed I need like literally retreated home it needed to be around my mom I needed support I needed the help and like within the two or one and a bit years of me being there or two years of me being there like I've just you know I put in the work and like it's so cool being back being like you're such a different person now in such a different place like you're around different people like everything has changed and it's actually all changed for the better it's anyways I'm just I go babble on I, I literally said to my friend what's the catch I'm like why is I feel just too good everything's flowing really well like there's still struggles here and there they're fine you know the payout's so worth it but anyway so I'm gonna go home once my um once my time is up in this Airbnb, I don't, my move in date is not for about three weeks or so. So I've got some time to go home and just get stuff packed up and sort out what I want to take there. I'm just going to try and not bring my whole entire life because I just want to be, I say, I'm going to try and be minimalistic. It's not going to happen, but don't need heaps of stuff. Um, and yeah, go home for a bit and sort it out. And yeah, that's the update. I didn't expect that this is what this month in Sydney was going to be, but here we are. We just flowing. Um, and yeah, I think I just want to end on saying coming firsthand from someone that, you know, has been in such a low place before. And like so many people felt so lost and confused during 2020 and maybe still do. I, I still did in January. I think now that I've kind of come out the other end of it and I can look back now. Okay, all of those struggles, like like what I always say, like all of the struggles are always, always trying to teach you something or lead you towards something. So if you're going through it right now, like I was a few months ago, just you have to just have such a deep trust that it's all happening for some higher power reason. You just have to take the lessons from it. Um, it could be trying to push you and push you out of a situation or push you into something better for you. So just always have trust and reach out to people if you need to talk to them. Get ideas from other people or see what they think about a situation. Like I always buffer through my ideas with mum or my friends and then at the end of the day it always has to be what sits right with you. But yeah, just know that everything happens for a reason. I know it's that quote, some people really hate it, but I mean for me in my life it applies so well. Like and even in like my hardest times I'm like, that's not what I want to hear. Why is this happening to me? But then you kind of get to the end and you're like, well, not the end, but you get to the resolution and you're like, ah, I see why that had to happen to me. I see why I needed to have those lessons and why I needed to learn those things. So sending you all the biggest cuddles. I love you guys lots. Um, and as always, I will link my Facebook group down below if you're needing extra support or some friends to chat to. We have a really beautiful online community. It's just the best place ever. I post heaps of random other stuff that I don't post on my Instagram there. So, yeah, that's all I have to say. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you next time. Mwah. Yeah, mama, this surely is a dream. Yeah, mama, this surely.